Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jordine. If you're new here, today's video is going to be a demo and review of the new Pat McGrath Mothership 8 Divine Rose 2 palette. So if you're interested in the looks that I created, keep on watching. So we're just going to pop in with some information about the Divine Rose number 2 palette. The palette retails for $125, so your standard price for Pat McGrath Mothership palette. I know it's a lot. But it's worth it <laughs> you get 10 shades in the palette so this palette is a part of the divine rose collection pat mcgrath launched the divine rose mothership 7 palette last september i believe and it was exclusive to selfridges um the app actually and then she brought it over to her website and then it was at sephora so the palette is now permanent so if you are interested in divine rose one that is something that you can get to complete this collection i don't have divine rose one but i'm probably gonna get it um but this one with that pink just popped out to me so i had i had to have it especially with the arts extraterrestrial that triochrome 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 <laughs> is that how you say it that that was a must have all right, so uh, let me show you some swatches. So this is the color story of the palette. So I'm gonna start off with the top row and then go on to the second row. So the first shade is Skin Show Rose Opal and that is described as a incandescent champagne with opalescent shift. So it has a pinky shift to it. There you go, it's really pretty. The next shade is Naked Blush. Naked Blush is described as a mid-tone coral matte. The next shade is Eleganza. Ooh, so pretty. Eleganza is described as a chromatic plum pink. So Eleganza. The next shade is Bronze Rose 005. Ooh, look at that. That is described as a metallic copper rose. Then the last shade is Gold Less Gold Less 001, which is a glistening antique rose. So that is a re-release. Gold Less was basically one of Pat McGrath's first product that she ever released. It was in like that little single kit that had like the mix and medium with it. Um, so it's a re-release in the palette. So that's Gold Less. The next shade is Extreme Burgundy. That is described as a deepened burgundy matte. Next shade is Divine Dusk. Divine Dusk is described as a luminous rose bronze. Oh, look at that, so pretty. Our next shade is Rose Seduction. Rose Seduction is described as a vivid magenta satin. That's pretty. And I'm sure this is why everybody <laughs> got the palette in the first place. This is VR Sextra Terrestrial, which is a, oh, look at that. Oh my God. Which is a fuchsia, golden peach, and chartreuse trio. Look at that. Oh my God. Can you see the shift? So pretty. And then last but not least, we have Astral Pink Moon. And Astral Pink Moon is described as a glittering peach champagne. So that, those are the swatches of the palette. Look at the pigment, pigmentation, yes. So I created three looks using this palette. The only shade that I didn't use today was the Gold Less 001. Um, is that gold, but I'm definitely gonna do another look with it. So if you guys are interested in the looks that I created, Let's get started. All right, so we're starting off with Milk Hydro Grip as our primer today. Next, I'm going in with Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade number seven for a glow on the high points of my face. For foundation, we're going in with the Giorgio Armani Neo Nude in the shade number 13. Now 
We're gonna go in with some Dior Skin Correct in the shade 5N just to neutralize some discoloration. Putting some around my mouth and on any type of dark spots that I feel need a little bit more coverage. Concealer, we're using Pat McGrath Skin Fetish Concealer in the shade 23. I'm gonna mix it with a bit of the Armani Luminous Silk Concealer in the shade 8.75. set my under eyes using the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Finish Powder in number three. For bronzer, we're going in with Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Bronzer in number four. For blush, I'm going to be going in with the Lip Bar Minute Finish Face Palette um, in Vogue. I'm actually going to use the blush and the highlight. So that's the color blush and then that's the highlight. So this is what the packaging looks like. I'm sure everyone has seen this packaging already, but isn't this beautiful? Oh my gosh, I love the crown. This is just everything, like everything. It looks so good. You know you gotta keep these, right? I have the black palette because I didn't get to get the rose gold palette, but that's okay. And this is what the inside looks like. Oh my gosh, how pretty is that? How pretty, oh my gosh, I'm trying to get the shift. And sexual terrestrial, yes, there you go. You get that, that shift. This is beautiful. All right, so my eyelids are already prepped with eyeshadow primer. I am just gonna go in. I think I'm gonna do a more neutral look for the first look. So I'm gonna start off with the shade Naked Blush, which is right here, Naked Blush. Oh yeah, that's pretty. I haven't swatched these yet, so I'm just going straight in so naked blush I'm gonna buff into the crease oh, I'm glad that shows up because I was afraid that this was gonna look very like beige on my skin tone but the pigment is there Next, I'm going in with this shade here. It's called Divine Dust. I'll pop that right on the outer eye right here. That's pretty. And I'm bringing up that into the outer crease a little bit. On my lid, I'm gonna go in with this shade here. It's called Bronze Rose 005. Oh, that's pretty. Life. I'm going back in with Divine Dusk and blend in Bronze Rose 005. And then I'm going to go back in with some Naked Blush and just blend my crease a bit more. So we don't have any harsh lines between those three colors. Perfect. I think I want to do a little bit of an inner corner pop. So let's go in with actual pink moon right here with that glitter right there. Ooh, yes, that's a nice topper. And I'm just gonna concentrate that right in the inner corner. Perfect. 
Okay. I'm running Divine Dusk on the bottom at a corner with a refer number three brush. And I'm gonna go in with Astral Pink Moon on the bottom lash line, right on the inner corner. Perfect. All right. So this is our first look, pretty wearable. Still has a nice pop to it. So on this eye, I think I want to put Eleganza on the lid. So what am I going to start with? Let's start off with Rose Seduction. We're going to start off with Rose Seduction. That is our satin pink in the palette. And we're going to pop that in the crease. Yes. I am buffing this color up into the crease. I'm gonna pop that right on the outer eye as well and kind of bring it out. There we go. So this is Rose Seduction in the crease. That color blended. <laughs> so easily wow all right so next i'm gonna go in with this shade right here it's extreme burgundy that is gonna go right on our outer eye and i'm using a refer number 12. yes look at that pigmentation remember i didn't swatch these yet i just wanted to dig right in and try these out and wow whoa that's crazy and of course this brush is definitely tightly packed and more dense, but it's definitely, the pigment is definitely there. Yes, 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 yes. All right, so I'm keeping this color definitely concentrated in that C shape right on the outer crease. And I'm just gonna slightly bring some up into the crease and stop like midway. All right, next I'm gonna go in with Eleganza. So Eleganza is the shade right here. We're gonna pop that all over our lid. I'm using a Refer 02. Wow. The pigmentation on Pat McGrath eyeshadows are like ridiculous. That is so pretty, oh my God. All right, so we're going back in with a bit of Extreme Burgundy and just making sure that we blend everything together. Oh, I love, I love. All right, going back in with a bit of Rose Seduction and placing that into the crease just to enhance that pink tone. I'm gonna bring that forward as well perfect look at that that's really pretty and i'm gonna blend out the outer eye as well just to enhance that outer wing that we created yes all right i'm gonna go out with a bit of skin show rose opal right in the inner corner i'm wiping off my refer number three brush we're gonna place that right in the inner corner. Pretty. Ooh, look at that. That is pretty. So for the bottom lash line, I'm gonna go in with some extreme burgundy and buff that out. Well as add a bit of rose seduction. Okay. And then this is what the second look looks like. 
right, I'm gonna pop on some liner and lashes and I'll show you what that looks like. All right, so I put some lashes and liner and mascara on and lips. For my lips, I have on the Mented Night Lip Liner with Wayne Goss Lotus Lipstick and Pat McGrath Peach Perversion Lip Gloss. And these are what the eyes are looking like. So you have your more neutral wearable look. And then here you have more of a pop of color. All right, so you guys know I gotta put on VR Sexual Terrestrial today. So I'm gonna wash this off and then come back and do that look. So people, we are jumping straight in with VR Sextra Terrestrial. So this is the Trio Chrome, and I am gonna pop that in my crease. Come on, God. can you see that? Wow, can you see? I know these lights are bright, wait. Oh my God, whoa. You can't see, but this is given, wow, this is given a lot. <laughs> I am going to wing that out. I really like that um, blown out look that I did with the rose, rose seduction. So I'm gonna do that again, but with this shade. Oh, oh my God, that shift. Yes, give me life, that is beautiful. All right, I'm gonna go in with some Rose Seduction and I'm gonna pop that in the crease. Well, let me go in with a smaller brush. I want this to be a bit more precise. Pop in Rose Seduction in the crease. And I'm gonna take a bit of that right on the outer eye and create a little wing. So that's what we're looking like so far. Oh my God, I wish you could really see this shift. It looks so good. So I'm going in with Astral Pink Moon right here. Then my Refer 02. And we're gonna pop that on the lid. Beautiful. All right, so I'm going in with Skin Show Rose Opal and placing that in the inner corner. I'm gonna go in with a more detailed brush and pick up Rose Seduction and wet the brush and intensify this outer part right here. All right, so we're going back in with Rose Seduction and intensifying our crease because some of it came, well, some of it got muted from the astral, what is it called? Pink Moon. I'm going in with Rose Seduction and connecting it right on the bottom lash line. And now we're going in with VR Sextra Terrestrial. We're gonna do the same thing. All 
All right, so I'm gonna put on some lashes and mascara and I'll show you the finished look. All right, so this is the finished look. I have on the same lip combination that I had on before. So for my inner corners of my eyes, I just finished off with some Skin Show Rose Opal and this is the look. So I turned off my um, soft boxes. I wanted to show you guys the shift. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed those three looks that I created today using the Mothership 8 Divine Rose Number 2 palette. I really, really love all the looks that I created today, but this one is giving me life. It is beautiful. So as for quality of the eyeshadows, I feel like they perform really well. Um, I have the Bronze Seduction and the Decadence palette, and they are very in par with those palettes. Pigmentation is there, blendability is there, the shine is there, so. So I'm par with the Pat McGrath formula and I am really enjoying it. I think it's probably gonna be my favorite one. I know bronze seduction, oh my God, right? But this one is giving me, it's giving me life. Bronze seduction is probably a little bit more wearable though, but this one is beautiful and I'm definitely gonna pair them together. So hopefully if you guys put the palette up, you have some ideas of what to do with your palette with these looks, but I'm so excited to have this palette. So if you're interested in picking it up, I'll have it linked down below in the description box. That's gonna be it for today's video. So if you like the video, please give it a thumbs up because it helps me out. And if you're new here, hi, I'm Jordine. I would love for you to subscribe to this channel. I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.